I know, I know. I should, I should just leave it alone. It dropped, it was bad. Some days you get the bear, some days the bear gets you, womp womp, et cetera, et cetera, move on. And <laughs> I was going to, really, I was, but then I found myself talking about the MGS Master Collection release yet again with another friend of mine. And he pointed out something that, and all my collected rantings and ravings about this abortion of a release, of which there is no shortage, I had neglected to consider. Then I got pissed off all over again. Before I knew it, I was making this video, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is a rant video. If you're too cool for that and you want to click off, now is the time. Not everyone wants to listen to grown-ass men complaining about video games. I get it. You're boring. Anyway, by now, if you care at all about it, you are well aware of just how terrible the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection is. From 720p at 30 FPS on the Switch to not even supporting 4K on PC, muddy textures, missing options, and more, I think we can all agree that myself and many others definitely told you so when we predicted that this would be an absolute disaster of biblical proportion. A sloppy, rushed port is probably the nicest thing that you could say about it. So at this point, it's likely that you're asking yourself maybe several questions. Questions like, is there nothing that Konami cannot ruin? Are they truly the worst dev slash pub on the planet? Just what in the fuck is actually wrong with them? Do they do this shit on purpose? Maybe you think those are reasonable things to want answers about. Maybe you're pussy and think that's going a little too far and would prefer everyone be a little nicer to the big orphan melting brand destroying pachinko making corpo. Pussy! Whichever can't be fallen to, one thing is for absolute certain. Konami fucking hates you and would like nothing more than for everyone to stop asking them to make video games. They obviously hate it, don't have any desire to do it, and I'm beginning to suspect may even have some cruel, perverse grudge against quality entertainment experiences that compels them to continue ruining any they can get their hands on with reckless, curiously determined abandon. Why do I say that? Well, because it takes actual effort to fuck up something this simple so badly. Because there were an overwhelming amount of reasons to, at the very least, not totally ruin this. Like, I get it, you're Konami, you don't care, you hate Kojima, you're kind of a sick fuck, whatever. Even if you didn't want to make this, dare I say, good, because you have a desire to produce quality products, maybe, there is another, even better reason to not completely annihilate this opportunity, and it's what got me so pissed off in the first place when talking about it with my friend the other day. And it's this. The Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, everything else aside, was also a practically effortless way to at least start to get customers back on their side. A way to at least begin to mend bridges and start the process of Konami, perhaps one day, not being one of the most hated video game companies on the planet. An easy, low-cost, low-effort way to start winning back fan favor and maybe a little goodwill. Surely any company, especially a uniquely reviled one like Konami, would absolutely jump at the chance to do that, right? But they didn't. They actively went in the opposite direction, instead choosing to take the opportunity to start winning back fans and customers and spit it back in everyone's face. Like, imagine for a second what the headlines would look like if they didn't fuck this up. Now again, I'm not even suggesting that maybe they did it especially well, just if they didn't fuck it up. Literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in positive press and advertising would have been generated from endless articles, marveling simply at how for once, Konami didn't fuck something up. YouTubers, Twitch streamers, Twitter Nazis, social media goblins, all running their collective mouths, flooding the timeline with posts about how awesome it was that Konami was no longer the villain of all our nightmares. And that's just if they managed to not fuck it up. Now imagine they'd actually made it good. Insanity would have reigned. It would have been all anyone talked about in every corner of the industry for multiple news cycles. Is Konami back? What's going on? The Metal Gear Solid Master Collection is a must buy for any video game fan. Shit, the entire Metal Gear franchise would probably have seen at least a partial resurgence, which would have been of direct benefit, of course, to the owners of the franchise, which is fucking Konami. And that's not even talking about how much very literal money they would have made just from more actual copies sold. And still, they looked at the prospect of all that and decided instead, nah, fuck them. It's not worth it. The customers, the revenue, the goodwill, the positive press, the franchise, the IP value, still not worth putting in 
the minimal effort required to make the game even passable. Wow, that is pretty fucking dark. That sounds almost like actual malice to me. You gotta be a real rare kind of sick to even make that kind of call. And that class is the true story of why everyone should hate Penali. Just, just woke up, smoke up, and I pass out. Pass, pass out. Huh? Woke up, what up, smoke up, blunt, and I'm back down. Back, back down. What? Yup, yup, woke up, smoke up, blunt, and I pass out. Pass, pass out. Huh? Woke up, what up, smoke up,